The main question we're trying to answer when we study bare-throated bellbirds here in Brazil is where do they spend the winter and how do they migrate? Um, because they are found here in the Atlantic rainforest during the breeding season, during the summer, uh, but then they disappear for the winter and nobody really knows where they spend the winter. So what we're trying to do is understand their migration timing, migration routes, and where they spend the winter by attaching satellite transmitters to them, uh, which will give us the data we need to understand um, the migration ecology of these birds. We chose to study bare-throated bellbirds for this project because, first of all, nobody knows exactly how they migrate. So understanding their migration ecology and habitat use throughout the year was interesting in and of itself. Um, and this is even more important because they're endangered here in the Atlantic rainforest. And um, this ecosystem, the Atlantic rainforest, has suffered um, major habitat destruction over the last several decades due to urbanization in eastern Brazil and agricultural development. So many populations of birds have declined drastically um, in this part of the country bellbird being one of them. So understanding their migration we hope will lead to better conservation efforts towards uh, conserving their populations. The way we capture bare-throated bellbirds is by setting up what are called canopy nets. And these are special nets that are used to catch birds which are placed up in the forest canopy 12 to 15 meters high because that's where the bellbirds live. They spend most of their time um, high up in the canopy. Males singing um, and foraging on fruit and females um, foraging and building nests. So the way we set up these nets is uh, we string out uh, a net between two aluminum poles that are very tall and then we have a pulley system that we can use on these poles to raise and lower the net uh, quickly so that when we catch a bellbird, we can lower it from the net. And the way we attract them to the net is by a, what's called a playback. The main difficulties that we've had in studying the bellbirds are the difficulty in capturing them uh, because they live up in the canopy. The other main factor uh, that hinders our work uh, most days is the climate here. It can be very sunny one moment and cloudy and rainy the next. At this site where we're studying the bare-throated bellbirds, the Promata protected area, we're basically at the southernmost extent of the Atlantic rainforest, which is a habitat that extends from northeastern Brazil, bordering the Atlantic Ocean coast into southern Brazil and into then Argentina and Paraguay. And here at the southernmost extent of this Atlantic rainforest, the forest starts to mix with um, a, a type of forest called Araucaria. And that's a type of tree that is found at high elevations here in southern Brazil, at about 3,000 feet elevation. Fairly high endemism of plants and several types of animals, uh, such as insects and reptiles that are only found here in southern Brazil at certain elevations. The bellbird is a very unique species in that it's, uni it's almost completely frugivorous. It only eats fruit. And you often see it when it's perched on a branch of a tree, regurgitate seeds, many times a, a, a ball of seeds that come down onto the forest floor where they're easy to find and pick up. During the breeding season, male bellbirds spend a large portion of the day at the very top of a tree, basically singing. The function of this song is not very well understood, but large part it's likely to attract a mate, potentially to communicate with other males as well. The chance to work with this species is really a special treat. This is a well-known, iconic bird of the Atlantic rainforest. It's threatened, um, it's difficult to see even though it's easy to hear. And to see it up close when we capture it is uh, 
surreal experience. The moment we release these birds back into the wild with a transmitter that'll give us important data on the ecology, their migration and behavior during times of year that are very poorly studied for this bird. A very special moment for us uh, during the field season because it means that we're helping to conserve the species. We hope that the data that we're collecting um, on bare-throated bellbirds will help us to not only understand their basic migration patterns, but will help to conserve this species over the long term so that future generations can enjoy this bird and that so that it can continue to be a part of this rainforest.